Hey, what's up everybody? Today we got the Yo-Yo Factory Nightmare up for an unboxing and review. So this is pretty cool. I got this for a really, really good deal. I got it on the Facebook Yo-Yo Buy Sell Trade Group. So if you're not a member there, you should go check it out. You get a lot of good deals. This is still sealed in box. I got it for 70 bucks. It retails for 100. So this is the Buy Metal Yo-Yo Factory of the their like Dream Series, I think it's called, where they had like the Daydream, the Aluminum Dream, the titanium dream and then they made a bimetal one called the nightmare so you know pretty excited so let's adjust the camera and open it up okay guys so here is the nightmares box it's got the premium yo-yo factory packaging i really like this heavy plastic i mean nothing's going to damage it you know it's it's in there very 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 secure so let's uh, it is sealed still I, like I said, I got this in a trade, but the guy never opened it or anything, so, you know, super cool. And I've had it for like a week, and I haven't opened it, so I'm like, you know what, today I'm opening this thing, I don't care. <laughs> so, yeah, I've played with these a while back at Illinois States. Uh, this one dude, Zion, uh, I believe that's the name, he had one. I played with his, and then I was going to get, me and CJ were going to get one to review previously, but it was too banged up. I said it was another thing on a trade. And then this one I stumbled across. So I was like, you know what? Let's do it. I'm getting it. Okay. So. One string falls out. Uh, I don't I don't know what this string is, but it, it feels like it's like uh, slick. Like, like half poly, half cotton blend, which I hate. So I'm not going to use that. Yeah, same little packaging comes in all of these. Or most of these. Whoa, you can find out all the secrets. If they tell you though, is it really a secret? I don't know. It's got like Ann Connolly on there and good old Tyler Severance. Pretty cool. Enough of that garbage. Alright, to the yo-yo. Um, first off, it's got a lot of like dust and stuff on there just from being sitting in the packaging so long. I feel like it's like the paper is like deteriorating and getting on there. Okay, now that it's cleaned up a little bit. Let's take a look at it. Now, I've heard a lot of people say that it's just like a Magic Yo-Yo Stealth, but I played with it, so I, I, you know, I'm not, I'll tell you that when I get to that part of the view, but um, it is a little more angular, and it feels, a, it, it's a little, I don't know, I, I feel like the Magic Yo-Yo Stealth is a, is a little more rounded and a little beefier. Like, there's more mass to it. Um, this reminds me more of a Yo-Yo Factory speeder. If they took like, if they were like, hey, or not Yo-Yo Factory, Yo-Yo Jam. If they were like, hey, let's take the speeder and make it bimetal and way better. Then that's probably what this would look like. Um, I do like, it's got the little spike. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I just I, they, I just like that how it looks. I think it makes it the Yo-Yo look meaner. But it's not going to help with finger spins, you know, as well as like something like the Stealth with just a nice cup. Uh, it's going to be a little easier on that. But I, I, I bet you can do them on here. I'll, I'll try to bust one out when I put a string on it, but yeah, thumb grind lip. This galaxy finish, though, is just really, really cool. The nightmare, Yo-Yo Factory. Made in China, little marking numbers at the top. But yeah, this colorway is just really, really, really cool. I really like it, the way it looks. Standard bearing setup, uh, center track bearing. Uh, this axles in there are really tight, but you know it looks like a standard Yo-Yo factory axle. So don't really need to show you that, but it looks like a smaller one. Uh, unfortunately, I like it better if it gets stuck in there. I'd rather have the other end get stuck in, so with the Allen head, so it's easy to get it out. But whatever, I'm not really one to adjust yo-yos and tune them much anyways. I have so many yo-yos, like, if my yo-yo starts vibing or something, I just throw it in the trash. <laughs> no, not really, but you know what I mean? I'll just grab a different one, and then I'll fix it later or whatever. Or it'll fix itself. But yeah, uh, nice feeling in your hand, very angular. Um, even when compared to something else that's kind of angular. But, yeah, I don't know, let's put a zipline string on it, and uh, 
we'll, we'll see see if I can do a couple tricks okay guys it's all strung up it feels very nice in my hand yeah everything about it so far I really like uh, you can finger spin on it although okay, I'll show you like when you're on the outside it works pretty good but as soon as you start getting to like on the spike and maybe it's just because it's humid out here I'm not wearing a glove but it really dies out you know so you can do finger spins on here but it's not gonna be like your finger spin machine you know that you're gonna go to every time you want to do a finger spin but it does have quite the nimble feel I'd say this is definitely like more nimble feeling a little faster feeling than the Magic of Stealth but it's not quite as stable or solid feeling I guess that's how I'd put it but it, it does seem to play great this shape though just is great for you know fast style play this real angular light body is just you know just for all like your old school tricks you know it's gonna make it a lot of fun and the bimetal is definitely giving it a pretty long spin time here This coating is pretty pretty good for grinds. Not amazing, like the the stainless steel rings aren't good, but the inside, see, is much better. I can press that again. The rings, it's kind of like bounces off my hand. It is quite humid out here too, but like the inside part is just incredibly nice finish. Also, too, this is absolutely. Butter smooth, no vibe at all on that thing, which I, I would expect it not to. Uh, it feels like it has a thumb grind lip. That's yeah, thumb grind, pretty much no problem. But yeah, great overall, great feeling yo-yo. Uh, can't really say anything bad about it. Yeah, just overall, pretty sweet yo-yo. So, I mean, I got it for 70 bucks. It retails for 100 so, I mean, if you got the money, I'd say get it, but it's not like if it was your last $100, I, I wouldn't get it. Does that make sense? I don't know. But, yeah, very good yo-yo nonetheless. Uh, yo-yo Factory Nightmare. I'll try to put a link in the description if I can find where you guys can pick one up. Um, but if not, just, you know, you could just look around. You'll find one. I'll see you guys later.